on that beat. Oh. Hey guys, it's Missy Lynn. For those of you who don't know who I am, and for those of you who do, what's up? <laughs> so today's tutorial is a girls' night out makeup tutorial. I recently had a girls' night out with my girl Kara, and you guys saw the photos on Instagram and instantly requested a makeup tutorial. And before I forgot the products that I used, I thought I would go ahead and film that for you guys. Now this look is more on the pink side. It's a pink sultry eye with a pink vampy lip and you know just a nice clean flawless canvas so i thought that this would be a good way to spice up your makeup routine if you're a pretty neutral person like i am um, i love my makeup everyone compliments it so i thought i would bring it to you guys so i won't continue rambling i will go ahead and get into the tutorial So using my MAC Pro Concealer as my eyeshadow base, I'm just going to apply this with my beauty blender and then blend it out with my finger. This will ensure longevity of the eyeshadow and help the eyeshadow stick to my eyelid. Next taking Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek, I'm just going to apply this underneath my brow to act as a brow highlight and then blend it down towards the crease. And then next going in with my BH Cosmetics Pro Studio Powder in 235. I absolutely love this as a transition color. I'm just going to pop this into my crease area to act as a transition color. That way all of the colors lay smoothly and blend seamlessly together. Next going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Powder in Copper Brown. I'm just going to use my taper blending brush and apply this in the crease area right beneath the transition color. And this will just help warm up the look a little bit. I'm going to focus the color on the outer V and drag the remaining product on the brush into the crease area. And then go in with a clean blending brush to blend out any harsh lines. And then next going in with my Jaclyn Hills Favorites Palette by Morphe Brushes. I'm just going to take this really pretty vibrant pink here. It's like a fuchsia color. And I'm just going to apply this to the outer V area of the eye using my tapered blending brush. And as you can see, I'm focusing the color more on the outer V. And I'm just dragging the remaining products um, on the brush into the crease area just for a smooth gradient effect. And of course, I want to make sure there are no harsh lines. So I'm going back in with my tapered blending brush to blend out any harsh lines and then next going in with this burgundy shade here on the bottom row of the palette I'm just going to take an angled brush and I'm going to sweep this along the crease area of the eye kind of like a cut crease but this is just going to add some depth to the look and then I'm going in with my taper blending brush and I'm going to focus some of that color on the outer V area of the eye and also drag it into the crease and just to add a little bit more of some depth into the eye look I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm just going to take some Mac espresso eyeshadow and I'm just going to just kind of place that in the um, outer V area of the eye as well and drag it into the crease just to kind of darken make it a little bit more sultry looking and like I said add some depth to the eye look So taking Masquerade by Makeup Geek, which is a foiled eyeshadow, I'm just going to use my ring finger to apply it all over my eyelid. And I like using my finger more than like an eyeshadow brush because I can control exactly where I want the eyeshadow to go as opposed to getting into the crease. And then taking this foiled eyeshadow in the palette, which is like a really pretty pink, I'm just going to place this on top of the Masquerade eyeshadow just to kind of make the eyeshadow pop a little bit more. Next going in with this muted peach color, almost like a deep salmon color, I'm just going to apply that on top of the pink and the purple, focusing it more on the center of the lid. And this is just going to warm up the eyelid a little bit more to help complement the crease color. So next I'm going to go in with my Inglot Gel Liner in number 77, which is the blackest of the black. I absolutely love it. And I'm taking a small angled brush by Bedellium Tools, and I'm just going to wing out my liner for a more cat eye look. And then I'm going to go in with some mascara. I'm using my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, and I absolutely love it because the wand is so small, and it separates the lashes, and it kind of extends the lashes a little bit as well, and it kind of just separates them and makes them look so, so great. And then I'm going to go in with my Siren Lashes by Social Lash that I absolutely love. It's very full and just opens up the eye. 
and then next I'm taking my eyelash curler that I got from Sephora in the New Heights um, eyelash kit which I love to death because this eyelash curler is more so straight and it helps kind of press the false lashes together with your real lashes so everything just looks really natural so I love this eyelash curler I'll put a link down below in the description box if you guys are interested so next I'm going in with my Evian spray. This is a facial spray that helps hydrate and refresh the, uh, the skin. And I'm doing this right before I go in with my NARS All Day Luminous Foundation. And I use uh, Medium 2 Tahoe. And as you can see, I'm just rubbing it into my skin with my fingers like I do lotion. And I feel like I get the best application this way because I get a smooth, just even flawless coverage. And then of course, I go in with my beauty blender to blend out any harsh lines and to make sure that everything is blended seamlessly together. And then next I'm going to highlight with my MAC Pro Concealer in NC42 which I absolutely love because it doesn't crease and it does not budge. And I'm using my G2 Morphe brush to apply it. I love it because it's a tapered uh, kabuki brush and it just blends out the harsh lines so seamlessly and it helps get into the hard to reach places like the corners of my eye. And then on top of that I blend it out with my Beauty Blender sponge just to help blend it out a little bit more and to sop up some of that remaining product. And of course, I must set my highlight with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder, which I absolutely love. This is hands down the best powder, setting powder that I've used, especially because it has a golden tone to it. So it brings out the golden hues in my skin. I absolutely love it. It's just finely milled and it just makes my highlights look so, so much better. And then next I'm going to contour using my Morphe G4 Angle Kabuki Brush which I love. Oh my gosh, this is the best brush to apply a contour powder because it just blends out the product so effortlessly. So I'm contouring the hollow areas of my cheeks with this reddish brown contour powder. And of course I'm going to contour around the perimeter of my face. And if you guys are interested in these brushes, I'm going to place a discount code and link down below in the description box. And then now I'm just going to go in with my G7 Fluffy Kabuki Brush by Morphe as well. And I'm just going to buff away any of the leftover powder from Sasha Cosmetics. And then next I'm going to follow up with my blush palette from Sasha Cosmetics. And I'm taking this really pretty muted pink. And I'm just going to apply it to the apples of my cheeks and drag it up towards my temples for a little bit of color for the summer springtime. And I'm using my 129 MAC blush brush for this. Going into the Missy Lynn palette, I'm taking this rose gold highlighter and the vanilla eyeshadow and mixing the two together to apply it to the highest points of my cheekbones with my fan brush to act as a highlighter. And right now on bhcosmetics.com, there's a great special going on for the palette, so be sure to check out the description box for more details. Going back to the eyes, I'm taking that really pretty fuchsia color in the palette and I'm just going to take an angle brush and sweep it along my lower lash line and then take some of the Espresso eyeshadow with a small angle brush and sweep it along the lash line as well and then apply some of that black gel liner into my waterline just to tighten up the eye a little bit and then follow up with some mascara on my lower lashes. And then lastly, going in with MAC's Night Moth Lip Liner, which is a deep cranberry shade, which makes a perfect vampy lip. I'm just going to line the lips and then shade in the outer corners of the mouth to add some depth and dimension to it. And then going in with some foundation on a brush, I'm just going to clean up the outer edges of the lips for a more precise look. And then lastly, I'm going to go in with my Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick by Stila in the color Aria, which is this amazingly gorgeous lip color. It's like a magenta lip color. And I'm just going to apply it to the center of my lips. And I'm going to purse my lips back and forth just to create that ombre effect. And then I'm going to go in with some more of that liquid lipstick and just line my lips just to get the look that I want. And that is basically it for this girl's night out makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Tell your friends. And until next time, be you, be beautiful, and I'll see you later. Bye.